De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. Tadenika wo here, Tadenika wo de, Tadenika wo this, Tadenika wo that. Ejo o kabiesi, if you have realized your mistake and you think you love Olori Naomi and you think you're ready to repent and make things work between you and Naomi, you need to go back. If you want to beg her, go back and beg her. You want to go across the uh, world to go and look for her. Go across the world to look for her. You know how important Naomi is to you. You people know how important Naomi is. And there's nobody who will say they don't understand the importance of Naomi in your life. If you have realized it, you're only human. You can make mistakes. If you have realized it and you're ready to repent, go ahead. But to force Nami to be in this kind of situation with you is something that I don't know. It's up to Nami if she wants to do it. But this Tadenikawo, this Tadenikawo, that it's important to also understand that Tadenikawo is Nami's son. Nami will never ever let anything go wrong with Tadenikawo. She has the capacity, both financially and otherwise, to care for Tadenikawo. Give Tadenikawo the kind of care that you can never give Tadenikawo. Care is not all about money. Care is all about being there and giving the child all that Tadenikawo uh, needs. Kabiesi, will you be able to be there for Tade Nikawo and care for Tade Nikawo? It's not about collecting Tade Nikawo and giving to one of your wives. You know that Nami will never allow that, not in her life. Nobody will allow it. Even if Naomi, whatever, Nami will never allow it. But this thing about Tadenikawo, Tadenikawo, we all know that this is not about Tadenikawo. It's about Olori Naomi. If you want Naomi back, it's up to you. Nobody can tell Naomi not to return back to you if that is what she wants. Nobody. This is Naomi's decision. No matter what happens. You see all the noise everywhere with family members everywhere on social media, all the noise left, right, and center. You and I know that nobody can tell Naomi not to return to her husband if she really wants to come back to you. It's up to you and Naomi to fix things the way you want it to be fixed. But you know that you have to make some changes. You may be an oba. We know that and we respect that, but you cannot impose what Naomi does not want on Naomi. Naomi doesn't want this kind of polygamous situation like just, you know, being drenched in this polygamy is what Olori Naomi doesn't want. But this Tadenikawo, Tadenikawo thing that you're talking about, this is not Tadenikawo. It's about you and Naomi. Please go for Olori Naomi. If you want to go across the world to look for Naomi, go across the world to look for Naomi, but don't make it look as though it's about Tadenikawo because I know it has nothing to do with Tadenikawo. They say Reverend um, Funke slam the only of Ife as that we heard as it is alleged if it is true that the only of Ife had called Reverend Funke to um, speak to Reverend Funke about the choices that Olori Naomi is making that he is going to go wherever Naomi goes um, uh, to look for his son Tade Nikawo and that was when uh, Reverend Funke started telling uh, the only of it fair that you know everybody who knows knows that this has nothing to do with um, Tade Nikawo first of all Nami was there married to the Oni of Ife, doing all the things that she's supposed to do. Loving her husband and caring for her husband. All of these women came from nowhere because Kabi AC encouraged them and they came and they ruined the entire relationship. And at some point, Nami could not bear it again because they were going very, as in they were diabolical. They were really diabolical. And um, 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 Nami could not bear it again. And Nami said she was going to leave. That it was time for her to leave and she left. And then things went really south. And then Nami came back. Things became better again. And all of a sudden, everything scattered again. Oni is supposed to know that he is the one who is creating room for enemies to come in. Now, even for young people who are married, we are all aware that if you do not create room, enemy will not come in. Enemy will not see you. Enemy will not see your marriage. You create room by giving people the arsenal to use against you. And that's exactly what the Oni of Ife did with that relationship with Olori Naomi. And that is why to today, up until today, there is no relationship. We are all aware that there's no relationship. Naomi wants to go. Naomi wants to go only. Um, Nami is asking Oni for just one thing, nothing else but freedom. Give me my freedom and let me go. Oni said, no, 
He's not giving Naomi freedom. He doesn't want Naomi to get married. Naomi cannot, uh, no other person can raise her. Then he can want wanting, wanting. And Naomi decided that, okay, since you said that you're not doing anything in the interim, let me face my life. Let me begin to work and do the things that I love to do. Ministry is what I have been called to this world to do. I'm going to face ministry. I'm going to go ahead with my life. I'm going to do the things that I know God wants me to do in this world. And then we are hearing that it's a problem again to Oni of Ife because of Captain Okwebi. Who is Captain Okwebi? Captain Okwebi, the last time I checked, he's still friends with Olori Naomi. Nothing has happened and nothing is uh, uh, likely to happen anytime soon because as long as that um, uh, the freedom, only has not given a uh, Nami freedom, Nami will not be able to do anything with anybody. So why is the Oni of Ife so afraid? So they said Oni of Ife actually called Reverend Funke to tell Reverend Funke about the fact that Nami left with Adenikawa to the UK without um, um, uh, his content, consent that he is going to go to UK to bring them back and bring Tadenikawa back. That if Nami likes Nami, uh, should follow him with Tadenikawa. If Nami does not like and uh, uh, Nami should give him Tade Nikawo. Oni, they said Oni is doing that because he knows that there's no way in this world Nami will want to give um, Kabiesi Tade Nikawo. Like, if if Oni takes Tade Nikawo to Ilefe, to the, to the palace, Nami will follow Oni to the palace. And that is what he wants to use. And the said Reverend Funke is saying, look, uh, this strategy is not working for you. This harshness and all of these things you're doing right now, people have advised you, because it's looking as if some people advise the only of if only took their counsel and decided to go by their counsel, but apparently their counsel is not working. It's a very bad strategy for the only of if And they say, um, uh, Reverend Funke said, if up until this time you don't know that this strategy is bad for you, that is your business. But don't don't put it on Tadenikawo. Let's leave Tadenikawo out of this because this has got absolutely nothing to do with Tadenikawo. If you have seen that your ways are not pure and um, and this is causing you so much and it has caused your relationship, instead of saying you want to marry other wives and try and sitting down and mocking Naomi and making people look Naomi, look at Naomi as if Naomi is not worth anything again because you have all of these wives. Yes, if you have all of these wives, why will you not give her a divorce so she can go and give her the freedom so she can leave. Yeah, the say Reverend Fuke slammed the new of Ife, oh, big time and told the new of Ife, if you think that you want to go after your wife, please go after your wife and stop hanging around this Tadenikawo, this Tadenikawo, that Tadenikawo thing, because it is never, ever going to work. And they said that was what um, Reverend uh, um, uh, Funke said to the Oni of Ife. I'm going to bring you more updates. Do not forget these are all alleged, rumored, and speculated information making the rounds on social media. Appreciate you.